All right, talk to me about, uh, there's this other company, right? Um, well, we don't really need to name drop them or whatever, but eh, fuck it, we'll name drop them. There's companies like ListSource, okay, where, where people can buy lists, right? Um, and they buy that data so they can market to settlers, right? Uh, so explain to me why I don't need to utilize maybe a realtor contact I met for part of my data, a list source feed, and Zillow. Why, how can I like, can, so I can just like get rid of all three of those platforms and just go to you, yeah? Well, and truth be honest, I'm going to be the most honest person ever. I, you probably don't need to get rid of them. I'm sure they can provide some sort of service at, at, for your real estate business in some manner. But to be frank with you, we, we buy the same data that ListSource buys. Uh, we have pretty much most of the data that Zillow has. The only thing that we don't have is we don't do FISBO for sell by owners. So that's probably one advantageous advantage that uh, Z Zillow has. Uh, to be frank, it's a little complicated uh, when you have users going into the platform and doing their own listings. We just wanted to step away from that. But what makes us aggressive is we are a, uh, again, one of the largest repository of real estate data. We buy data from everybody, um, from, from list source, the same source that they're getting it from, um, some other major companies. I'm, I can't mention their names due to the NDA agreements that I have. But the idea is that we buy repetitive data. So that way we know for sure properties in pre-foreclosure, right? So um, you, I don't want to say that you don't need them, but we are several pieces to the puzzle. But here's the thing. For the last 15 years, we have gotten so many questions on, hey, what's the difference between you and them and them and you? Yeah. So what we did last year was we released this upgrade called List Automator. And it really shook the industry because we got to remember from our business standpoint, it's our data versus their data versus their data. That's what the consumer is led to believe, right? That's why the consumer, in this case, James, you, you're like, okay, what's the difference between you and them? And, and we know that's always going to be a thing. That's never going to go away. So what we decided to do, which shook up the industry, is we introduced a feature called List Automator, which does one of two important things. So one important thing it does is it allows anybody to import outside data into our system and append our data on top of that. Right, so if you just prefer to go to ListSource, great, but guess what? ListSource may not have MLS data, which last time I checked, they do not. So you could build a list from ListSource, let's say a thousand results, and you don't know if any of them are on market or not. You can take those 1,000 results, put them into our list automator, and we'll tell you how many of them are on market, vacant, or all of our other data. So now you can make a more qualified decision, right? So that's why it shook the industry is because for the longest time, it's always been about hey, we're better than them and they're, and they're not as good as us. And the marketing tactic was fear and uncertainty and, and a little bit of ego. So that way you would lead into our direction. We've never been about that. We're not here to compete with them. We're here to come help you out. If that means join them, bringing the data together, then let's be it. And that's what we decided to do. So whether this is an outside list like ListSource, whether it's a list from Zillow that you extracted, whether you went driving for dollars and wrote a bunch of properties on a piece of paper, all three of those elements can be imported into our system and we're just going to give you our data and then you can take it from there. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education and entertainment.